Hi, welcome back to the shop. It's good to see you again. Uh, hopefully this is the last, and hopefully I mean the last, uh, time we're going to have a look at my DIY through spindle coolant uh, idea we've been messing around with. Uh, I've been talking with one of my subscribers and um, who suggested uh, a couple of uh, ideas and I've taken one of them up and actually tried it out. So um, roll the tiles and we'll have a look and see how it went. So here we are over at the bench, and this is the uh, the finished tool. Um, I've been corresponding uh, with a subscriber and um, called Torben, and he suggested that um, uh, I turn up a, a, a snug fitting collar and put a couple of uh, circlips to hold it in place. So um, uh, I bought a couple of circlips. The company I bought them from sent me the wrong ones, but. Uh, they, with a little bit of manipulation, I've managed to get them to fit. They are a little bit too small a diameter. They should have been bigger, uh, but that's beside the point. Um, this, the body of this tool is actually from hydraulic ram. So the, the outside diameter that bit there is chrome plated, which is uh, obviously no friction. So um, this, um, this collar rotates an absolute treat. So uh, I just turned up a, uh, okay, the, I found a, a scrap piece of mild steel, I think it is, uh, turned it, um, turned the OD to something nominal, um, made it the right length and bored it out to 40 mil. The, the diameter of this, um, uh, this hydraulic ram is 39.97. Uh, as far as I can measure it. So consequently, at 40 mil, I've got a little bit of little bit of play, and um, uh, and it works a treat. So uh, yeah, let me just uh, show you the, the the steps in making it, and uh, we'll have a go with it.
been drilled, eh? Never mind. Job done. Try this over at the mill. Right, let's turn the spindle on. First, first test to see how much friction there is to stop the ring going around. That's not much at all. It's, it's sliding around a little bit because there's still oil on it. Okay, that looks good. Now let's just try it at full speed. No excessive vibration. Happy with that. Let's turn that off. Let's try plugging the coolant in. And start the spindle. Ooh, ooh, that's good. Now let's let's just stop the spindle. Let's put the coolant on and see where we get leaks from. Uh, not too bad. Let me. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this coolant. I think it goes manky after a while. But there we go. There's a good solid stream out of the out of the tool where it needs to go, and we have uh, leakage top and bottom. That's perfect for me because I think having a little bit of leakage top and bottom uh, means that it's being lubricated. So um, let me just dry my hands off. Not a fan of coolant. I like coolant, obviously you need it for the machining side of it, but uh, I find that now and again it absolutely ruins my hands. Anyway, here we go. Let's turn it on. Oh, look at that. You can see there's a cone. You can see there's a, 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 a cone of um, a coolant, so that's looking pretty good. Let's uh, turn the coolant off. In the uh, vice, not the chuck, uh, I've put a, a piece of scrap alley. Let's, um, uh, I'm going to do this manually rather than under CNC control because uh, I'm too lazy to start the mill, start the um, computer. That's not too bad, I'm uh, quite chuffed with that. It's come out pretty good. Excellent. 